everyone, my name is Eskimo, and today I'm going to be explaining Ender Chests for you guys. Now, if you guys don't know what Ender Chests are, they're going to be a feature upcoming later in Minecraft Xbox 360. And if you guys don't know, the P or the Xbox version of Minecraft has basically been following the PC version exactly. And the next change update that we are going to be experiencing is the equivalent of the Emerald update. And if you guys would like to see my prediction video and what's basically all of what's going to be inside of that update, I will include a link down below in the description to my TU14 predictions along with links to several other videos where I talk about other features such as jungle temples, desert temples, but this video is going to be solely dedicated to inner chest now, guys. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you guys, but as always, be sure to click that like button because it really would help me out. Have a fish and let's get into it now. As you can tell, a inner chest is crafted by having eight pieces of obsidian and one eye of ender. Now, after you have your inner chest, you can go anywhere you want, place it, and store your items inside of it like a regular chest. But what makes this spe or this chest special is you can or craft another ender chest if you wish. I'm going to grab this delicious fish because I'm a greedy Eskimo. Just kidding. But, um, yeah, you can actually access that fish no matter, or whatever you place inside of that chest, no matter where you place the other ender chest, and you can have as many ender chests as you want, place them throughout the world, it doesn't matter the distance, so you can have it on the very northern part of the map and the very southern tip of the map and no matter what you can access your stuff inside of it but on top of that no one else but you can access them so say if I place it right in or my fish inside of here my delicious fish inside of here you guys you scumbag escabros no I'm just kidding nobody else but you can access it so it's definitely a really awesome feature that we're gonna be getting but on top of that say if both of those <laughs> Both of those chests are uh, destroyed somehow by somebody else because other people can destroy them. But if other people were to destroy them, you're like, oh no! I lost all of my fish, Eskimo! What do I do? But have no fear because if you make yet another ender chest and place it down, the items that you actually had in those previous ender chests will still be there. So. No matter what, even if those inner chests are destroyed, no matter whatever you place inside of them, they'll be safe no matter what, unless you take them out. Now, hopefully you guys are excited for inner chests, because I know I am, but as always, guys, have a fish, you know. I'm not a greedy Eskimo. I'm not going to be placing my fish inside an ender chest. I'll place them inside a regular chest, so whenever you guys come into my worlds, you can get as many delicious fish as you want. But hopefully this video was helpful for you guys, and if it was, be sure to click that like button. But as always, guys, I've been Eskimo. I love you all, and I shall see you all next time.